I know, you've already read the title of the video and you think this is probably pretty odd. Uh, I don't normally talk about women's health products. Revive MD's women's health formula is what I'm gonna be talking about for the next 10 minutes. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna identify as a female for the next 10 minutes. Totally kidding. Uh, I know, I understand that most of our followers, about 90% of our followers are male. Uh, we don't have a huge female demographic, but the truth is this product really can help out some women. I wanna have some content out there that is for women. I'm gonna tag this appropriately so that maybe some females can find it. But if you could do me a favor, guys, uh, if you're watching this video, you might not feel too interested in actually watching it all the way through. You could learn something, you probably should. But if not, do me a favor, send this over to your girlfriend, that girl you're talking to, the girl that you're kind of messaging with and seeing, but you're not calling it dating yet, you're just talking. Send this over to them, especially if they're into fitness or uh, they care about you know, their hormone balance and their health. This could really help them out and it might look, make you look good. Uh, let's jump in and talk about what Revive MD's women's health formula can do for you or that female in your life. Welcome to Price File. I'm just gonna jump in and talk from the top. Uh, there's not a lot of whole background on this. Um, obviously, women's health uh, products are kind of all over. There's some companies doing good ones. There's some companies doing ones that are a little bit more misleading and unfortunate. Um, I'm a believer in Revive MD. I'm a fan of theirs. I like Matt and Dom. I think they do a pretty good job. Dom has a really great uh, bunch of clinics for hormone, uh, you know, help and stuff like that. Not all women are gonna wanna jump onto bioidentical uh, HRT. Um, however, something like this might be able to help them out before they try that out, or maybe help it to uh, support that HRT that they may or may not be on. So in general, um, a lot of this is gonna be about oxidative stress, uh, controlling free radicals and taking care of them, but also balancing hormones between estrogens, androgens, testosterone, stuff like that. And there is stuff in here for hair, skin, and nails as well, because you know I, I think it ties in pretty nicely. And a lot of things also actually have um, dual purposes between all of those things. So from the top, like I said, a lot of oxidative stress. The first thing you're going to see in here is vitamin C as ascorbic acid. You get 150 milligrams here, which is 160% of your daily value, but vitamin C is pretty important. That's why you see it in a lot of immune products, a lot of antioxidant products. It's going to help out a lot with a lot of different things for uh, health and just in general. Uh, one of my friends, Justin Hall over at Southland Snoop has been talking a lot about how a lot of the products, whether it's pump, focus, um, health or sports supplements are really a lot coming back to just oxidative stress and taking care of free radicals, which is pretty interesting these days. So vitamin C is probably one of the first steps you take in antioxidants there. In regards to the hair, skin and nails, vitamin C helps uh, production of uh, collagen within skin. So it's gonna help out a lot with obviously skin quality. But alongside that, we also have vitamin E here, 50 milligrams, which is just 100% of the daily value here. Um, vitamin E helps out a lot with oxidative stress as well. Deficiencies in it can lead to muscle fatigue, vision loss, or immune system dysfunction. But studies show that the actual addition of it, not the deficiency, but actually like supplementing an extra amount of it can help out with antioxidants, uh, antioxidative properties, anti-inflammatory properties, one really interesting thing that I saw was response to UV rays, the damage that you can get from being in the sun. Um, obviously in this fitness world of females, a lot are gonna be tanning very often. I thought that this was kind of an interesting thing to point out. Uh, if you tan very often, this could help out a lot and make sure that you are combating those obviously dangerous things that can come along with tanning frequently. So jumping into the non-vitamins, the actual actives here, Evening primrose oil at 750 milligrams is the first ingredient here. Now, evening primrose oil, as long as I can remember being in retail, was an ingredient that uh, postmenopausal women or women who have um, strong periods, uh, deal with a lot of PMS symptoms, supplemented a lot of. It can help a lot out with hot flashes, high blood pressure, uh, PMS symptoms that can be more uh, drastic than normal. Evening primrose oil also uh, provides GLA to the body, which is a conditionally uh, essential uh, amino acid since the skin cannot produce it. A lot of studies theorize that that's one reason it's very beneficial for women. But overall, there was a systematic review of, of evening primrose oil and all of the benefits that it has. I'll link it up on the screen here if you want to check out all the different stuff there. But it is everything from skin quality to dealing with asthma to PMS to hot flashes, blood pressure, a whole bunch of different stuff. For females, if you have any sort of problems with your hormone balance, with your periods, with you know your menstrual cycles, all that stuff, this is an incredible ingredient just to throw in daily. In here, there's 750 milligrams. You don't need to go searching for it at Vitamin Shop. It's an easy way to get it in with all of your other stuff for female health. Moving into stinging nettle root. Now, this is actually something that I've seen for a long time actually in uh, response to allergies, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but I learned about it about a month ago from Dom, the owner of one of the owners of Arrive, 
talking about how it's an anti-androgen. So for women, obviously you have a very delicate hormone system that you need to balance uh, to stay energetic, to feel good, to have muscle growth, fat loss, the right body composition um, for obviously fertility and a lot of different things that your hormone balance will have a big effect on. Anti-androgens are important for women because you're not supposed to have a high level of androgens. Interestingly enough, it's high in beta cytosterol, which is a reason that it's actually included in their prostate formula for men. But we're actually seeing a pretty big parallel in things that are good for men's prostates and good for women's uh, hormone balance. In this case, you're actually going to see that it's going to help block DHT for women, which is good because DHT can lead to hair loss, which is not all that great, but it'll also lower androgens in the body, which will be better for your body composition, better for your hormone balance. If you are a female that's taking some sort of PEDs for um, any, any sort of sport or competition or physique sports, this could be important for you to combat those problems, although no promises that it'll be able to combat that level of stuff. This just is something that could be important if you are on any sort of HRT protocol to try to keep things in check. Next one is quercetin we have here. They're using quercetin dihydrate. There's a lot of different versions. This is the one that uh, Revive MD has chosen to use. And there's a lot of different, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of different reasons to be using quercetin. To just be completely transparent, I'm gonna read off of my notes for this one because I can't memorize all of these. Quercetin actually comes from berries, apples, teas, onions. It's even uh, found in red wine. It's found in a lot of those foods that you've been told your whole life to take. Um, and the pharmacological properties of it range from, in tons of different areas from antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, antivirals, antiplatelets, anti-carcinogenics, and even anti-allergens. So you're going to see it helping a lot with lipid oxidation and capillary permeability. Some studies have even shown that supplementation can boost immune function, reduce inflammation, and lower allergy symptoms. Quercetin helps across a ton of different areas. It's a very, very powerful antioxidant. It's not something that I would uh, recommend you take around your workouts because you want to create um, inflammation at that point, but this is something that could really help with your overall health. Um, it's not really specific to female health at this point, but uh, the women's health formula it's gonna be a little interchangeable with a lot of different products. It kind of goes alongside your multivitamin, so it doesn't have to be all specific to female health here. I completely understand why they added antioxidant here because it's alongside a lot of other antioxidant products. Now the next ingredient, indole 3 carbonyl it's kind of an interesting ingredient and it's one that I wouldn't expect companies to be able to talk too much about with the claims. Most of the claims are going to be found around uh, being anti-cancer properties. And that's kind of uh, tough for companies to make claims on because that becomes a therapeutic claim, a drug claim, a disease claim. Uh, but the truth is it's an ingredient that's found in a lot of uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Um, this ingredient is specifically known for anti-cancer properties. Specifically, it can, it can suppress uh, cancer cell growth in the colon, prostate, breast, and uterus. Adding in 100 milligrams here could have some pretty serious re repercussions, but the truth is that the majority of cancers that I3C helps with, are, they're associated with high levels of estrogen, which is way more common in females than males. Um, since I, I3C is a negative regulator of estrogen, it's able to decrease the growth of tumor cells induced by estrogen, and it also is able to promote apoptosis of cancer cells. We're putting this ingredient alongside a lot of uh, balancing hormone ingredients, things that are gonna lower estrogen, lower the conversion of estrogen or testosterone to estrogen, or estrogen to other forms of estrogen that could be more problematic for women. This is obviously just like a, a really risky thing to say here, but I'm giving you guys the, the truth on what it's studied in. If you want, on our blog, we have links to all the studies. You can check them out yourself. I know it sounds kind of sketchy, but so what the, pro the ingredient is uh, studied for, and that's, uh, I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys, that's what it's for. Moving forward, we got bioresponse DIM. Now DIM, DIM is obviously known for lowering estrogen. They're using a microencapsulated form here at 75 milligrams. I know microencapsulation has been a very hot topic recently. You guys have heard me talk about a few different ingredients being microencapsulated. Um, there are studies to back this one. It's a patented ingredient that has studies on it. Basically, the microencapsulation is going to make sure that it gets through the digestive process and into your body. It's not going to be, you're not going to urinate it out. You're not going to defecate it out. It's actually absorbed by the body and utilized and not destroyed in the stomach. Now, DIM can help both men and women. Research shows that it's a pretty powerful aromatase inhibitor, which basically means that, means that it's going to make sure testosterone is not converted into estrogen. On top of that, though, for women, it is powerful in some other ways. It can limit uh, the actual estrogen absorption. It can also increase the conversion of estrogen to 2-hydroxyestrone and 2-methoxyestrone, which are 
beneficial metabolites for overall health. Overall, it's going to support healthy estrogen metabolism as well as it prevent the conversion of testosterone to estrogen and estrogen uh, absorption. It's going to keep you in a better balance between estrogen, testosterone, DHT, and all of the hormones in that careful balancing game. It's not going to totally tank your estrogen, and that's not something we want anyway. Estrogen being too low could be bad for your joints, your blood pressure, and a lot of different stuff in your body. We want to have a healthy balance between all of them because Honestly, estrogen is even anabolic. You're not, you're not gonna be growing a lot of muscle even if you're low in estrogen, while most people may try to tank it as much as possible. After DIM, we have one more uh, interesting ingredient here, bromelain at a 50 milligrams. Bromelain is a digestive enzyme, which I thought was interesting. They put it in here, kind of uh, took an embarkment from the other hormone products and uh, antioxidant products they had in here. You're normally gonna see bromelain in pineapple. I think it's actually what gives you that, that bite if you eat too much pineapple. Um, it breaks down proteins really well for the body. Now, there are some anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer pro uh, properties here. It's mostly what bromelain is seen for outside of protein uh, breakdown. But one thing that I thought would be kind of interesting here is that if you're in the fitness game, like if you're taking Revive MD, you're probably eating a lot of protein. Um, I hate to be stereotypical here, but if you're eating a lot of protein, your body isn't able to digest it, you're going to bloat from that. So I have to think that not only they're using it for the anti-inflammatory properties here, but also women who are trying to move up into figure, physique, or trying to put on some muscle for bikini might be suffering from that bloating of eating a lot of protein, not being able to digest it. So this is gonna help a lot, keep you comfortable from day to day and utilize the protein that you're putting into your body. I don't wanna be stereotypical and think that like all women are worried about digestion and looking good, but it is a pretty serious uh, property that you could get some help out of. It's also just gonna help you can you know, move up and, and use the protein that you're putting in your body. It's gonna make you more efficient. We've got three ingredients left here. Third to last is N-acetylcysteine at 25 milligrams. Now, N-acetylcysteine is, again, an antioxidant. Uh, is extremely powerful. Actually, it's kind of interesting because a couple months ago, the FDA came out and actually made a claim that uh, NAC is not a dietary ingredient, but they aren't really moving forward and saying anything about it. Um, we just have to be careful about the claims that we make on NAC. The main goal and role of NAC is to produce glutathione with the, within the body. Glutathione absorption orally is not very good. Injections of it are great, but not, mo not most people are going to go get injections of glutathione. By orally consuming NAC, we can boost glutathione production within the body, which is going to go along really, really well with the vitamin C that you're taking in as well from this product. There are a ton of different benefits here, mostly coming down to lowering oxidative stress. But there's also neuroprotective properties, immune properties, and a lot of other stuff. Again, if you want to read in really close on this, you can go to our blog. All of the studies are cited within there, and you can really do a deep dive. I'm trying to give you more of a surface level understanding of what this product's going to do for you. It can help out your skin, your brain, your focus, your overall well-being, and feeling good day to day. Second to last, we got pregnant alone here, five milligrams. Pregnant alone is actually kind of interesting. We saw it in a pre-workout earlier this year, which was, I thought was really interesting. It can have some really great brain function, learning, help, uh, focus, stuff like that. But for the pro purpose of this product, it's a lot more hormone. Pregnant alone is actually a steroid hormone. It's technically classified as a neurosteroid. It's not an anabolic steroid, but it is a precursor to things like DHEA, uh, testosterone, estrogen, cortisol, progesterone, all sorts of stuff that are really important for that, again, balance within your body. Pregnenolone is gonna help out a lot for women uh, in, in both the hormone balance and the focus aspect of this. Um, five milligrams of it is not a ton. You're going to feel a nice little bit of benefit, but it's not gonna be overbearing on the focus aspect of things. It's not gonna be a, like an anabolic steroid and you're not gonna have any sort of virilization or anything, but it is really powerful for most women to utilize, even if you're not on any sort of HRT protocol. Research shows that it really can help out with a lot with uh, depression, learning, focus, and it may even have a, a neuroprotective property as well. So throw it in your stack and enjoy the benefits. Now the last ingredient we have here is DHEA at 2.5 milligrams. It's not a big dose, but again, this is for women. You don't have a, a lot of hormone surgery on your body like men do. DHEA can be used at a lower dose. DHEA is a lot similar to pregnenolone in that it is a steroid hormone. It's going to help your body produce a lot of hormones. It's going to be helpful for, obviously, that muscle growth, your performance in the gym, your recovery, your muscle composition, your body fat loss. Overall, it's going to help out a lot of things with bone density, muscle uh, gain, and even help with insulin sensitivity, which downstream is going to have a lot of help for body composition, fat loss, and stuff like that. But one of the big things to note here is that as you age, your production of DHEA within your body lowers. So at 
the age of 30 really becomes a big issue that you should be supplementing. But even before that, it can help out a lot. Even at 27, I got my blood work done and showed lower levels of DHEA, and I currently supplement on that. For women, it's an easy thing to add. It's going to help out a lot with your body and your performance at the gym, as well as just overall well-being. And I think that's one thing that we really need to note here. Not only is this going to help out with your performance in the gym, with your fat loss, your muscle gain, and all that stuff, this product is going to really help out with your well-being and quality of life. It's not all about how you look on the stage or how you lift in the gym. This is really important just for your overall life and well-being, and that's something to remember here. So, Revive Women's Health Formula. It's three capsules, 30 servings. Uh, you're going to take three caps a day. Easy to do, really helpful for, for most women. If you have any sort of hormone imbalances, this is something that you should reach for. Uh, even if you're not look, you're looking into HRT, it could be a awesome side thing uh, alongside HRT, but this should be your first thought before you start going towards those types of products. That could be possibly a lifelong commitment. So thanks so much for making this point in the video. I know this got pretty long, but I appreciate you guys making it here. Uh, if you have any questions about Revive, you can go to pricevalue.com slash ReviveMD, or you can ask them below. I'd be happy to talk to you about the product. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.